Bob Mould with It's Too Late. CBT guitar lesson for Scott. Scott, I think this is your first one that you've had done. And um, real poppy rock, uh, catchy song. I've never heard of Bob Mould or this song. And uh, got that kind of, uh, what's that band that did Stacy's Mom? Fountains of Wayne kind of reminds me of that type of vibe. Standard tuning for this. Let's jump in. Now there's two guitars in and out. As a matter of fact, on the intro, it sounds like I'm hearing an acoustic. It's just backing the electric. And then they're kind of layering some different, um, similar yet different chordings. So um, I'll explain more as we move on through here. Chords, um, I, not the standard of what you would think. This E is barred second fret A and D, 4G and 5B. So we're gonna end up strumming all all of them except the high E string one and just stop, we're gonna rest. Maybe arpeggiate them. And you know, make sure all the notes are clear. Okay, then from there to a B major, 2A, barred fourth fret, D, G, and B. Now you can go third or fourth finger for your bar, doesn't matter. Strum that to uh, an A2, so it's 2D and 2G. And we strum A through high E. Now that one's gonna ring, so. Uh, that's the only one that rings so far. So we have. And then 2A, 4D, 4G, two times. And then you loop back, start it over, it's four times. So after four times of that, which that's section one coming in at one second, section two, 16 seconds in, and he's hit, just hitting some of these um, similar chords and picking notes to them. It's a little, it's easy to get lost on hearing the the particulars of the arpeggios, which are the picked notes in the chord that we have. Oops. Pretty catchy, man. So you can set up for the first chord, the same one we did in the beginning. And what you're gonna do, though, is hit the top three strings of it, strum two times, and then pick the fifth fret off the B, and then the fourth fret off the G. From there, this reminds me of Rush a little bit. 2A, 4D, hit those together, but it's a hold. So you also, what I do is I take one finger, because we need the fourth fret D, G, and B. We can't bar it, and the, well you can if you can still hear the open high E. So I use, the way I, I handle that one is, third finger handles the D and G, pinky handles the B on the fourth fret. That way I can go power chord, and then G, B, E, rest, and then B and G. And then the A2 chord, which is 2D, 2G, and just go um, down, up, down, or three downs. This, the tempo of this song is moderate, so when you get to something that's quicker, it's not necessarily uh, means that he's going down up down so you can kind of play around with that. I did put down up down because I want you to know that it's uh, faster. So and then the open E and B as that chord's ringing. Back to the first chord open E barred second fret on the A and D and then 4G. You're gonna hit that short rest and then hit it two more times. You're gonna go fourth fret D half step bend release that's a one fret bend release. You're bending an F sharp to a G and back to an F sharp. And then pick pull to the second fret. You can barely hear that, but it's in there. What stands out is the... All right, double dots means you go back and repeat everything. So you're going to go up through the... And then you'll see a star. You don't finish that out to that double dots. Instead, you finish it on the third line down with the full B major, 2A, fourth fret, D, G, and B. Use your third finger for the bar, though, on this one. 
because we're going to go three times strumming those four strings and then add the pinky to the fifth fret B. That makes it a B suspended. Sounds like this. Short rest, back to uh, the B major twice to the suspended once. So that melody's going. Alright. Section 3, 31 seconds in. Open A, 2D, 4G, and 5B. This is another way to play the A chord and it sounds nice. Um, you're going to go three times strumming that um, to open 2, 4, 4. Open 2, 4, 4. Now you can either be barring this and go like this and just lift the pinky, which might be better if you're, if you're comfortable with barring. Rest and then back to the pinky twice. So it's to the first chord, the E. Open E, 2, 2, A, and D, 4, G, and the 5, B. On this, strum basically the top four. Now if you only hit three, but you hit five, that stuff's okay, and that's what I want you to know. So strum, and then emphasize on the D, G, and B. And then emphasize on, um, actually emphasize on that three times. So you'll be going... So, and then emphasize on the D and G. So it's, this chord might be tough if you've never played it. It's a C sharp minor. You're going to go 4A, 2D, 4G, and 5B. Three times strumming that. And then um, let it ring as you move this pinky over to 4B. Hit that, and then the open E. So it's, it's beautiful. From there, back to the B, like we used in section two with the arpeggio. It's a uh, so you have. Let's try that again. And then, from there, this is going to be new. F sharp minor, two uh, E, two G. And there's like power chords, it sounds like, and arpeggiating. Arpeggiating is the trickier part, but it's more melodic, and that's what I went with. Go E, G, B, E, B, G. So we have. Then do uh, E with the G bass. It's 4E. This one's tough. 2D, 4G. It's like a power chord in the middle. And go. E, D, G, E, rest, and then open B, 4, G, so, so you see how it's, uh, the same pick progression as this. And then A, 2, that's the, it's like an A major, think of it like that, without the second fret on the B, that's just going to be open, and you'll strum it. 24 times. And I did double dots with eight strum markers. Well, I had the chord once and seven strum markers. Double dots times three, so it'll be. And then one extra one. Into a B power chord with the octave. 2A, 4D, 4G, seven times. This is similar to section one, right? But it was different enough to where I wanted to tab it out. It comes in at uh, 50 seconds. It's the E, same chords as the intro. So the E once, this time the B twice. The section one only had it one time. So we have the A2, two times. Now there's a rest between them. And then four times or three strums on the B major, where last time it was two times. Last time it was like now it's so three times here, two times on the section one. That'll be four times total. All right, top of page three, we got. Section five, a minute five in, and I put guitar two. This was kind of 
a little bit tricky because later on I'm giving you something to choose from um, which is section 7 when you get to the 247 timestamp and the more I listen to it the more I think you should do section 7 in place of that because this isn't going to be very full it's more of a filler guitar like so You can catch these tonalities if we do section 7. Let's put that in place of it. It's the E chord that we've been using two times. Um, yeah. So check it out. Do the E chord twice. The B chord, down, up, down. That's 2A, 4th fret, D, G, and B. Upstroke on the A, which is open A, 2D, 4G, 5B. And on that, go like this. You're going to hit an up strum. Up, up, down. So it's... You'll go... Oops. I'm missing something. And then, the B suspended. Go back to the B chord, put the pinky on 5 on the B string. Go down, up, down, up, but go 5th fret, B, 4th fret, 4th fret, 5th fret. So it's... And if you're not strumming it with the right amount of attack, you may not even hear the difference in it, but it's melodic. It sounds cool. Without that, it's just going to sound like this. But it's... So I emphasize on my strumming a little more on the that section of the, the strings. Um, so I would do that four times in place of section five. Don't really worry about that. You can toy with it a little bit, but you're going to get the meat of this if you make it section seven. All right, section six A, a minute 20 in, the A2 chord that we've been playing. You're going to go down, 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 up, down, change. It'll sound like this. So the bridge. The change chord is C sharp minor, what we're going to call it, 4A, 6D, 6G, opens on the uh, two last strings there. Go up, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, from there, just take that chord, move it a whole step, which means two frets backwards. So now it's 2, 4, 4, open, open. Go up, up, down, down, up, down. Um, then you'll have this come into play. And this is all accented with the band, the drums, everything. Nine on the G and two opens on the B and E. There's our two opens. Strum it. So go. And then back a half step to eight. A whole step to six. A whole step to four. So. Don't go. You can, but it, it'll lose the impact of that. All right, so. Um, and that is going to be two times through. That's section 6A. Alright. Section 6B. It's like the tail end section of this. A minute 43. Power chord 2E, 4A. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. To 4E, 7A. Go. Strum, rest, strum, rest. When I'm saying rest, I'm hitting the, the chord though. So you have. It's called accenting, and the band's with that too. Um, the A2 chord, eight times. To the B chord, which is 2A, 4D, and G, and have open on the B and E. That would sound like this. Once again, the chords having those open strings, the E and B, to me is the beauty of this melodic chord progression. I love it. Um, so when you're strumming, once again, emphasize, make sure you're hearing that open E and B or it'll just sound like as opposed to those opens in it. 
So dynamics of that is really kind of throughout this song. Okay, the next section is, well, it's a solo. A minute 50 in, nice, catchy solo. It's um, all octaves. You'll go. And I lost my spot, but we're going to start it. 7A, 9G. I'm going to index pinky. You can go index third. The key here is, um, Scott, is to mute the D string. So with the angle of my index finger, I'm touching it. I'm not pushing it down. And I'm also muting the top string, string six. And believe it or not, the B and E, which I probably won't be strumming, but just in case. So we, because what our targets are is the A through the G string, all right? But if I accidentally hit the E, I know that I have it muted. Strum five times. One, two, three, four, five, rest. Two times, slide to nine. And right back to the seventh fret four times. So if you went rest and then two more strums, slide to 11, 13. So for sliding, you know, keep your pressure or you're not going to hear the target for the slide. Right back to seventh fret and ninth fret um, four times. Rest. Three times, slide to six eight. Strum. Fourth fret and sixth fret twice. Second and fourth fret twice. Sounds like this. So. And then two times of that. Second time, no star. So, which is about half of it. Right here.